welcome to Electrify TV. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, today we're going to be talking about the energy campaign. Just a brief introduction to the campaign. Well, I started the energy campaign with an idea, not, not an idea, with a dream to see, you know, Zambia development at a very fast rate. Now, what do I mean? Um, it was just one day when I was sitting under a tree and, you know, I had this deep thought, you know, like I, I went deep in my thoughts and, you know, I, I believe God revealed to me something that was, that sparked the energy campaign, right? And the revelation was, you know, I was sitting by a plant. So as I was looking at the plant, God started speaking to me about um, how Zambia can develop if we could just concentrate on the roots. Because when you look at the plant, what people really desire is the fruit. Now, if you want to get good fruit, the roots must be good. So God began to tell me about how Zambia is, Zambia's development is impeded by, you know, people focusing on the leaves, focusing on the stems, focusing on the fruits, all these other things which are not the root. Well, you know, I started asking questions like, do I really have, you know, something different? Is this really different from what these other politicians, politicians have come up with? I mean, I'm not trying to join politics or anything, but I'm just really concerned about the underdevelopment, you know. So that continued revealing, revealing to me. Roots. Well, okay, roots. What, what do roots represent, you know? Because first of all, you know, I, I'm a high school graduate. I know the biology of a plant, so... Yeah, it was really kind of easy to relate, you know, because God was revealing to me at that moment, you know, telling me that, just think about the economy of Zambia very, very deep. Think about what Zambia is going through. Think about everything that's happening. You know, think about the policies that these leaders are coming up with. And then I want you to think about this plant, all right? What struck me was uh, the fruit. I was sitting by an orange plant. So I just, started, I just started thinking about the fruit. Like, this is what we want as Zambians. This is the change that we want. This is the kind of standard that we want as a country. Now, how do we obtain good fruit? How do we obtain the fruit faster? And how do we obtain it good, all right? Uh, how do we yield um, a bumper harvest, all right? So when I was thinking in, the, in that moment, God told me that, uh, you know, I would, I, would, I, would, I would think and God would approve. Like, I'll be like, this fruit represents the change that we want. And, and God will be like, yeah, you're getting it. Go on. And then I started going to the leaves, I started going to the stands. I was like, bro, this is just something that's in the intermediate. This is the intermediate of uh, the final results, you know, something that's in between. And, well, I started thinking, I was like, how can I really identify what's in the middle, what's the, what the intermediate is? And, okay, I've, it was easy identifying the fruit as the change that we really want, that we want as Zambians. But the intermediate, it's going to be hard because, you know, I've, I'm not all up to date with these political things. So I was like, God, I don't really know. I think what I'm trying to do is not making sense. I'm just, I'm just dreaming. <laughs> That's what I told myself. But then God told me, okay, take it easy. Don't, don't, don't try to quit just yet. Go to the roots. I went to the roots. Then I started thinking, so the roots must be, then, you know, I was thinking of um, the economy of Zambia. Instead of thinking of the plant first. Because, no, I, by the time I was doing that, I, I had already finished school. So, you know, the biology and everything, it was, it was kind of vague in my head, you know. <laughs> like, but the simple mechanism, I, I could understand. I could understand the simple workings of a plant. So, I thought, God taught me to think about the plant first, all right. So, when I started thinking about the plant, I, I just, you know, a thought cruised my mind saying so the 
the, the better the root, the better the fruit. So you cannot have you cannot have good fruit without good roots. And when you're watering a plant, you water the roots. You don't just wash the leaves because <laughs> you know in a, in as much as it can look good when you wash the leaves of a plant, as long as the water has not reached the roots, it will wilt and it will look as ugly as you could never have imagined. Now, let me get back to what I was talking about. So, God told me that, you know, in the same way, the economy has got roots, all right? You can really relate this plant, the mechanism of this plant, to the economy of a country, specifically Zambia. So, think about the sectors that we have. Think about what really could increase the rate of development. And then I started thinking, well, in all these industries, in all these sectors, what really moves things? What okay, just in general, uh, as Pastor Chowe, as I read once in Pastor Chowe's book, nothing works until you work. So, so for things to move, for the machines to to work, for people to get up every day in the morning and go to work and produce good results you know the desired outcome they need energy that's that's the first thing that came to my mind like when i started thinking about you know the economy of zambia and trying to figure out what are the roots of the economy all right so energy was one thing that was really outstanding at that moment i was like energy 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 then I just stopped I paused for a moment and you know told myself to define energy and then as we all know as you must know energy is the ability to do work and I was like okay the ability to do work so what what is that ability for I mean how do we is that ability enough to produce the uh, the result the desired outcome so then again I thought okay relax so energy is like the primary thing that you need but there's also what we call work so energy is the ability to do work but let's talk about work first of all what does work do well work is uh, the product of force and distance right and that's that's like that's like the simplest definition I can give I know there are more complicated ones but yeah work is the f the product of the force and the distance so that just when when you take it into uh, you know political <laughs> in a political mindset, uh, that would mean you know work is just simply how much you put in. Uh, you know corresponding to how far you go, because the you know the force and the distance. All right. So I I just thought about it because when the development that we want, you know we want more schools to be built, one more health centers to be built, we want, we want more of these things to be built, we want infrastructure, we want enough food, we want to fight poverty, all right? <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, we want, uh, we want to fight poverty. Well, honestly, when you, come to, when you come to think about development, what we really want as Zambians is just to eradicate poverty. We want to alleviate poverty. Because, you know, poverty is really, really, really taking the lives of our people. Yeah, and that's really sad in it. So, um, as I started thinking, so, if we want to see things moving, if we want our country to have better schools, better hospitals, all these kind of things, you know what we really want. If we want our country to have all those kind of things, we need people, people's effort, you know? And that, and how far how much impact that effort is going to have it depends on how much the effort is all right you put in little effort it won't make as much impact yeah so that is work so i was like you know what you know just now yeah when you start thinking about work now you're climbing up the tree you've left the roots the roots the roots represent energy so it's like all right so it looks like I've already found my roots. There is an energy sector. Yeah, there's the energy sector in, in our economy. I've heard of that. I watch news 
and I'm up to date. So there's the energy sector, you know, the economy. And, you know, the energy sector, I just started thinking about it, like, how much is done? How much attention is given to the energy sector? I mean, how much importance do we attach to the energy sector? Do we treat it as just like any other sector? Because, like, you can't treat uh, the roots the way you treat the leaves. Because, you know, ha handle the roots well and the leaves will be happy. So, energy being the root um, needs a lot of attention. Now, what is energy? What's the energy sector? What goes on in the energy sector? You know, we already defined energy, the ability to do work. And, you know, it goes on like that. We define work, we find force, distance, it goes on like that, all right? So now, we go back to energy because we want to focus on the roots. So if we can water the roots of development, then we surely have the fruit. So, what, what, what goes on in the energy sector? What goes on in the energy sector is what I started thinking about. You know, that was like before the idea of the campaign struck me. Yeah. So I was thinking, what goes on? You know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna get something wrong from this. I don't want to get up saying I've got an answer to such and such equation when actually I haven't thought it through. So I was trying to make sure that this thing is foolproof. So I started thinking, what goes on in the energy sector? Well, the energy sector entails we've got electricity, you know, electricity sub, uh, distribution around the country. And we have uh, fuel. Yeah, I think just the fuel. So when you think of the energy sector, you might, you might, only maybe think about you know this you might think about is there how much electricity is there in the country you might think of uh, the fuel you know these kind of things but you know let's 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 just be simple as simple as we can all right energy is the ability to do work and we get energy from food so we see the agriculture part coming in all right because look for people to produce good results for the labor to be uh, efficient, they need to be. There, there needs to be energy. You know. Do you know that workers need energy, you know, to work efficiently and effectively. They need energy. So 